What's up guys, it's Jim from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of ways to remove a shape or part of an image in Adobe Illustrator. So depending on whether you are removing a part of a vector or a raster, there are different ways to do so. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. Okay, so as you can see, I have a raster image and a vector image. I'm going to show you two examples of uh, removing part of a raster image and part of a vector image. I'm going to first talk about how to remove part of a raster image. Usually we will be using the clipping mask or you can use the transparency panel to mask as well. And the easiest way if you want to only remove uh, the top or the bottom part that would be using the uh, crop tool. So if you have the image selected, you can go to the properties panel on the quick actions and you will see the crop image option. So go ahead and click on that and you can adjust the crop area of the image. And if that's what you want, you can go ahead and uh, just uh, adjust the crop area. Maybe if you would only want to keep the coconut tree, the palm tree. So that's the easiest way to remove a part of the image in Illustrator. However, I know life is not always that easy. So I know uh, usually you will need to use a clipping mask. So I'm going to show you a quick example. So just go ahead and create a shape on top of whatever you want to remove or want to keep. So if you want to remove the coconut tree and obviously I'm using the laziest way, I'm creating a circle and uh, simply select the shape and the image and right click, make clipping mask. And that's it. You remove the rest of the image. Uh, and sometimes you do have to use a pen to, to trace the image. I mean, and when it's super complicated, it can really be uh, a lot of work using the pen tool. Okay, so for example, I trace this part and I want to remove this part. So definitely I'm not going to make a clipping mask because when I make a clipping mask, I will be only keeping this part. So you can open the transparency panel from window, transparency, and as you can see here, nothing is selected. So in this case, I already created this uh, shape using the pen tool and I want to remove this part of the image. First of all, change this color to white and then select this shape and the image. I mean the part that you want to remove and the image. Click make mask and invert mask and uncheck the clip option. And as you can see, you, you have already removed this part uh, from the image. Okay, besides using the pen tool, you can also use the, the brushes maybe. So I'm going to show you an example using the paintbrush. I'm going to increase the brush size using the bracket keys. And I'm just gonna draw on this. And I'm going to select the brush stroke and the image. Make mask. again and uh, yeah you have removed this part if you want to see how it works you can add a background color or any background image uh, to make sure that you already remove the the image that's it okay so now let's move on to removing part of a vector image so i use the image trace to trace this image you can use other way to vectorize your raster image. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, I do have a video tutorial as well. If you're interested, feel free to check it out. Okay, so when you have a vector image, it's much easier. So you can directly choose the eraser tool. Choose the eraser tool and simply just go ahead and remove anything you want from the image like this. However, uh, there are other ways to do so. And uh, you can also use the knife tool if you want to make a cut. For example, uh, I make this cloud, vector cloud, and I'm going to cut through. Make sure that you cut through the shape so that you can kind of edit them separately. So yeah, when it shows like this, it means that you already cut, um, make a cut through the shape. So you can choose one part and change the color or anything just uh, yeah, something like that. That's how you can use uh, the knife tool for and you can also hit the delete key to delete it. That's it. Pretty simple. And obviously when you use image trace on an image 
And if you want to remove part of it, you can also select the specific part. Remember, uh, it should be expanded and ungrouped and simply select the part you want to remove and hit the delete key. I know that's a lot of information. If you find it a little bit hard to follow, I do have a step-by-step -step guide where I talk about the different method to cut part of an image in Illustrator. So I will add the link to the description below. So feel free to check it out. That's it. Remember, if you are erasing part of a shape, a vector shape, you can use either the eraser tool or the knife tool, or even the scissors tool to remove them. And uh, if you are erasing on a raster image, I would say that the only way that you can do it is using a clipping mask. So hope you find this video helpful. If you do find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials. And if you want to learn more about Illustrator basics, uh, I do have a beginner's course where you can find all the illustrator basics and uh, some advanced stuff like logo design typography design and I also have some Korea tips for you at the end of the course so I'll definitely add the link to the description below so feel free to check that out